Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you didn't get to watch the first, I thought something was gonna fall. If you didn't get a chance to watch the first video, then I highly recommend it. You can click somewhere up there. This video is gonna be about a dramatic look because the first one was a simple look, and I'm all for dr dramatic. Um, I'm not gonna be doing makeup on myself. That is still a future video, but I'm gonna be doing makeup on my cousin, and her name is Tamara. <laughs> <laughs> Her name's Tammy, and we're gonna be doing a very dramatic, smoky eye. Alright, so let's get started! Alright guys, so, first off, you want to start with a clean face. Tammy already washed her face, and we already primed her face. We used some moisturizer, um, and a face primer, and we even did an eye primer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and remove it a few times to get rid of some of the stickiness. And then I'm actually going to use this tape and place it right underneath her eye and line it up with the bottom to act as a little guard for the eyeshadow. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you're, you're looking in the mirror to make sure both sides are even. Okay, to get started on the eyes, I'm going to take my 217 brush and the color Soft Brown and I'm going to put this all over her eyes to act as a base color. Okay, so once you have Soft Brown on both of the eyes, I'm just going to take Saddle and the same 217 brush and apply this right in the outer corner and up into the crease as a transitional color. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna spritz it with some Fix Plus spray and I'm gonna be using glitter so this way the glitter can stick a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna take my mineralized, not mineralized, Veluxa Toi MAC palette and this is kind of like a gold shimmery color and I'm gonna place it on the inner part of the eye till about halfway of the eyelid. And you're gonna get some glitter fallout, so you can take a brush and just kind of sweep the rest away. Alright, moving on with the eyes, I'm gonna take my Anastasia Lavish Palette in the color Sienna, and I'm gonna place this on the outer corner of the eye, up into the crease, and blending really, really smoothly. Going back into the lavish palette, I'm going to be using the color Pink Sapphire and with a flatter brush, I'm going to take this color and I'm going to pack it right next to the glitter and towards the end of the eye. Going back to my MAC eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the color Embark and with my 217 brush, I'm going to apply this shadow on the outer corner of the eye to really create some depth and some smokiness. So now I'm going to go back to my Anastasia palette and I'm going to use Sienna to use that as a transitional color to blend the Embark in just a tad. Once you're done with that, you can remove the tape very slowly and you can see that it left a really nice clean line. You'll probably have some fallout so you can use a makeup wipe to kind of clean up under the eye a little bit. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the eyebrows. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a spoolie brush and I'm going to kind of groom them a little bit. I'm going to brush the hairs towards the center of the face, then up, and then back down. 
And to fill the brows in, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Chocolate because I love chocolate. So what I'm doing is I'm just creating a nice clean bottom line for the eyebrows and then a nice clean top line and then filling in, using the product to fill in the brow. Um, and I'm, I'm just looking at her natural brow shape. So now I'm going to take a nice flat brush and I'm going to use a concealer that's about a shade lighter than her regular color and I'm going to use this to kind of clean up underneath the eyebrows to create a nice natural highlight. So now I'm going to use my favorite black eyeshadow by Urban Decay called Blackout and I'm going to use that with a pencil brush to kind of smudge the bottom out a little bit. Um, so my wing liner part of the video deleted so that's why it's not up here. But yeah, so ta-da! Just use your regular liner. Moving on to the face, I'm just going to color correct a little bit and I'm going to take a peachy uh, color corrector and I'm going to put it on any of the dark spots like underneath the eye, maybe around the mouth area. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it all out. So now I'm moving on to foundation and I'm going to be using MAC's Nourishing Waterproof Pro Longwear Foundation in NC45 but I'm also going to mix a little bit of NC42 to make her color. This is one of my favorite foundations. It can be used as a concealer as well and it's waterproof so how amazing is that? Now I'm just going to go underneath her eyes with a concealer and this is uh, I think an NC40. And I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend it all out. And for the rest, I'm just going to use this brush to kind of get really close right up under the eye. So now I'm going to do the highlight portion of contouring and I'm just going to put some on the top of her uh, uh, forehead and on her chin and a little bit on her nose and the sides of her mouth. Next, I'm going to use Bed Nice Banana Powder to set underneath her eye to bake a little bit. So now I'm going to use mineralized powder and dark to kind of give her a little bit of warmth around her face. And then I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just going to wipe away the powder underneath her eyes. So now I'm going to use a Benefit powder in her shade and I'm going to take a buffing brush uh, by Real Technique and I'm just going to use that to buff it all over her face. So now I'm going to use mineralized uh, powder in Dark Deepest and I'm going to use this to contour her cheeks, uh, the temples, and her forehead. Now to apply some blush, I'm going to be using Max Ambering Rose and uh, my Real Technique brush, uh, stippling brush to just kind of buff that right on the apples of the cheeks and blending it up towards uh, the contour. And for the highlight, we're going to be using MAC um, Soft and Gentle. Now I'm just going to spritz her with a little bit of Fix Plus because I love me some Fix Plus. Now on to her lips, I'm going to be using Only You by MAC. It's a cream sheen lipstick, so it's very, very hydrating. It's really good for the winter. Now to outline her lips, I'm going to be using uh, MAC's Cork. Now 
now for the lashes and my actually my favorite lashes to use are kiss lashes and i just found out that they have mink lashes so these are mink lashes by kiss so a tip with eyelash glue i like to take some glue and put it on any kind of surface after i finish my eyeshadow so by the time i put eyelashes on at the end the glue is nice and tacky And here you have it. This is our finished look. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you really liked it, please like and subscribe. You can leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to see any type of video. Don't forget to give someone a smile. Change someone's day. Peace out.